Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is where I step in. You mad because the politics crept in. They don't understand how fast your check spins when you got four kids trying to collect rent, ask you to come do late notice battles on late prep when you do them favors. They don't pull through with your battles to protect them. Oh, so right. this is where your career with Mr. Can't Copy Respect ends. Hold up. Did we just become best? Friends. Hey, try to duke it out. And that's the sooner you getting cut today, a wildcat. Spit him in half when I bring this razor back. Uh-huh. NCAA. I'm trying to... Oh. Hey. I'm trying to watch them all, birds. Torture y'all. Someone on his squad volunteered at the wake for his friend because that was one of his boys he lost. Ward be like, you're gonna talk about God the whole time and end up losing the battle to me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna talk about guns the whole time and you end up losing your life to these. I'm not for play. I'm not for play. If you don't get shot, you still getting dropped today. Go across your head with a wine bottle. Break the glass and leave a shard in there. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Fada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I hope all is good with every single one of y'all out there in y'all personal lives and things like that. Uh, you know, I had to come back to speak about this Rum Nitty versus A Ward battle. I did get to peep it, and I got a lot, a lot to say about it. Um, first of all. Um, rest in peace to Pat Stay, you know, he's an MC, top tier, legend tier MC who we've followed and watched for years and years. So when something like his situation happens where his life ends early at an untimely fashion, of course, there's going to be some time that, you know, it's going to take time for people to heal. It's going to take time for people to, like, try to see what the reason and why there's so many questions and things like that. You know, Eminem showed love to Pat Stay. Drake did. They mentioned him on... Um, wrestling yesterday and just a whole bunch of love that's going out to him. I did put the GoFundMe in the last blog so that people could see it. The GoFundMe did reach its number and I hopefully continue continue to donate things like that, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody wants to see somebody's life end at such a young age. 36 is young. I know a lot of the time y'all be ready to call anybody over 30. You're old head, you were old head. I know how it goes, but uh you know, definitely, um, we enjoyed his battles. I definitely watched a lot of them again. I seen his performance versus Shotgun Shug. I seen his performance versus Tay Rock again. I watched his battle versus Real Sick. And you know, just prayers and hopefully everything, you know, with the family goes smooth as far as, you know, this is never an easy time. But uh, another battle that I did get to watch was A Ward versus Rumney. A Ward versus Rumney. See, I've been saying this a while ago. I said from the beginning, a Ward is going to continue to be a problem. He's going to be a menace. He has pockets of flows. He's able to freestyle. He's able to rebuttal. And he brings his A game, pun intended, to every single MC. But then there's Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Rum Nitty is a monster. Like, a monster, monster. And I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not going line for line for line for line with this battle because I honestly feel like this is a joint that you need to see. Like, you need to watch this battle. Um, when it's all said and done, you're going to have, I think, one of Rum Nitty's better performances ever. Top five, top three performances ever. This is up there with Av. This is up there with, like, some of his best work. Um, coming into this battle, a lot of the question was, would Rum Nitty take it to where it needed to go versus a Ward. We've seen him in the tournament where he battled Swamp. The performance was just okay, but it was like, yo, this is a Ward. a Ward battles all of the URL talent off the URL, and he beats most of these motherfuckers. I could go from name to name, name, person, 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 person. He debatably beat or beat every single one of them. Uh, when it comes to a Ward, he been putting it on for a while, for some years now, you know what I'm saying? A high level MC, Lots of freestyles, lots of rebuttals. Doesn't curse. I've, I've said this before. I think the hardest part of his package is the fact that he doesn't curse. I think 
A Ward has clearly separated himself from a lot of other new MCs. Uh, he's the most accomplished member of the Four Horsemen, and that doesn't take anything away from the rest of them. The rest of the guys do good too, but A Ward is doing this on not even ever stepping foot on URL. You have to remember that. Never stepping foot on the Ultimate Rap League. For politics, you know what I'm saying? Politics, I've heard different rumors of contracts. They want him to be on one league only. You can't battle over here. You know, you know all the bullshit that goes on. Oh, if you battle over here, you can't never battle over there ever again. Even though they were the ones that helped find you, we still don't want you to battle for them. Or we want you to battle for free. Uh, I heard there was talks of him battling on a volume card, but he couldn't get paid. Nobody's doing nothing to battle rap without getting paid. I'm not even in front of this camera without getting paid. Like, that's just not gonna happen. Like, I mean, there are, you know, there are circumstances, but I think A-Ward has proven himself time and time again to be an MC that does not need to have prove it battles. Like, uh, prove to me that you're good enough to be on that. That just doesn't happen. So I think that, you know, unfortunately, they will continue to move in two different directions. But this battle, King of the Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? They, they did a battle at a strip club, a leg legendary strip club in Atlanta. And all three rounds, man, um, the only clear round I have in this battle is Rum Nitty's first round. Rum Nitty went fucking alien mode. I'm talking about every punch was connected to the punch, to the punch, to the punch. Like, he was trying to make an example out of A Ward. In the first round, he was definitely trying to make an example out of A Ward and say, all of the talk, all of the hype, I'm gonna end this shit right now and y'all gonna just have to deal with what comes out of it. I will say this, A Ward was fighting back. Uh, A Ward, like when Rum Nitty would punch at such a high level, A Ward would have rebuttals out the out the yin yang like his rebuttals was dead 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 like the one round when Rumney ends his round you know he's like AK hey Nick Lay say hey say uh I'm the four horseman that's here to do it because of the naysayers like he's literally rapping on steroids right now bar for bar for bar I'm gonna go out on the limb and say to me personally Rum Nitty versus A Ward is probably the best battle that's happened since Easy to Block Captain versus um, chess and that was over a year ago Then there's other small battles sprinkled in there you have rock versus twerk was a good battle um he had some other good ones in there you know what i'm saying there were some other good battles danny versus from nitty the third born was a good battle there were some other ones too but this one right here the riot has some fire on their hands this battle is better than geechee versus a ward on the, on the riot i'm thinking of comparable battles like on the comparable level and when i say that both MCs went off. Yo, I've heard people say A Ward won this battle 2 1. I've heard people say Rum Nitty won this battle 3 0. And after watching the battle more than once, like, I could give Rum Nitty two rounds. I could, yo, this is literally one of them. <laughs> I don't know if y'all understand. Like, we don't get fire like this every day. And I would have recapped it the day of or like the day after, but the day after was the unfortunate time with Pat. So, you know, I wasn't. I didn't feel right like recapping a battle, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm recapping an actual battle, breaking down bars and shit like that when we're dealing with a situation like this. And it's still a situation, you know what I'm saying? And I know there's some people who feel like, oh, y'all shouldn't talk about it. It shouldn't be on the, on YouTube. If it was, and y'all y'all gotta realize that in popular culture, you know, you have the TMZs, you have the bigger brands and the bigger networks. They don't care. They're going to mention things however they happen. Like if someone gets into a shootout, they're going to mention so-and-so shot, killed, yada, yada, yada. But when it comes to us on this side, people get so sensitive when you just talk about the news. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just weird. But anyway, um, when it comes to Rum Nitty and A-Ward, to have them have a battle like this, I hope it drops soon. Like I really hope that they get the battle out soon. You know, and the, the riot has never taken a long time to put battles out, so they will probably have it out soon. Uh, the Clean versus Snake Eyes battle didn't happen. I seen Clean, he was at the airport saying he didn't have a flight book, or whatever the case may be, and I guess that someone else said that he was supposed to be dry. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I just hope that the situation works itself out and that uh, maybe we can see Clean and Snake at another time, but I don't want to take away from A Ward versus Rum Nitty. Um, and then A Ward with the with best friends line. He talks about Rum Nitty having four kids. The league don't cut you no favors, and this is where your turn with the can't copy respect ends. With typically, with basically best friends, A Ward saying that you know 
he's not he's basically saying a friend of my enemy becomes my friend you know what i'm saying that just dudes back to the rum diddy saying that you know he might not be on url long i hope they work that shit out too um but overall man like that battle <laughs> I, I, i'm shocked like to hear the material that both mcs was coming up with throughout all three rounds like this ain't no I'm going to just watch it and breeze over it and it just be what it is. No, I had to watch it more than once. And it's going to take a couple watches. This is one of those joints that when you you see how when you watch Easy versus Chess, battle rap wins. Like, we win. Like, we really don't. I, I'm not really too tripped out if they give Easy the win versus Chess or if they give Chess the win versus Easy because it was just that good of a battle. And when you got MCs that's putting on like that, you got to show love. Um, salute to A-Ward and everything that he's got going on. There's going to be a lot of folks that feel like he won. There's going to be a lot of folks that feel like Rum Nitty won. And I don't feel bad if you feel like he did because Rum Nitty did not come to play any games with A-Ward. That's the way. See, the thing is, I see a lot of people say this all the time. URL's the NBA, so they want to see people battle on the NBA, but A-Ward's not there, so they feel like when they battle him on some of these other leagues, that they don't give their all. No, no, no. A Ward is now a circled game. Like when you're battling him, most MCs, especially the ones on URL, are gonna bring their A game. I seen A Ward say that he wants Rock on the riot. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, if you're ready to come to the riot, it would be an honor to make my debut, to make your debut versus me. Yeah, I think A Ward, he could get that. He can get anyone he wants. He just battled from freaking Nitty and survived. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the crazy thing. Whether you feel like Nitty won or lost, A Ward survived. He didn't get. The other niggas that would have stood in front of that material right there would have died in King of Diamonds. They would have died right there on the spot, but Ward was just snap with the rebuttal, snap with the material. Um, material was great uh, from Rum Nitty. A Ward's material was great too. He did his thing. He did good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against him, but if you're making me, if I'm going, I'm going Rum Nitty 2 1 because of what I saw. That motherfucker was an alien. I had Rum Nitty up 1-0 after the first round, and I didn't have him losing two rounds after that. Let's just say, like, that's the easiest deductive reasoning standpoint for me. I had Rum Nitty with the 1-0 win, and in the last two rounds, I had them split in the last two. But overall, I got the battle. Scale of 1 to 10, I got it. 10. I got a 10. I definitely got a 10. It's not due to the emotional state of everything going on in battle rap right now. That's just not it. It's just a great... It was a great feel-good battle, regardless of who you had winning. It was a feel-good battle. And before we get out of here, you know what I'm saying, um, salute to all of the MCs. Summer Madness is coming up. I'm sure some more battles will be announced. I've heard whispers of a battle or two. I'm not going to really say it right now. But, uh, you know, salute to all the MCs, salute to all the platforms and everybody that continues to do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Trying to navigate through the situation that's going on right now. Like I said, I've mentioned before and I've seen, you know, I've heard other people mention in a culture like this, you don't really lose people, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've been doing this, a lot of people have been at this for 5, 10 years, 15 years, and we haven't really lost an MC, you know what I'm saying? And that's a blessing in some regards, that we haven't really lost MCs or lost yeah, as many people as involved with the culture of battle rap, you know what I'm saying? We haven't really lost people, so to lose someone of Pat Stay's magnitude, you know what I'm saying, that's definitely a big thing, you know what I'm saying, I'm sure he's going to continue to be brought up, there's going to be a bunch of shows about him, and there's going to be a bunch of, you know, people talking about him in battles and things like that, and hopefully his memory and his legacy lives on, you know what I'm saying, but it's not someone that is going to get spoke about or blogged about one time and that's it, like, this dude was, he was literally on Summer Madness, just, he was on Gnomes, he battled Rock, he battled Shug, you know what I'm saying? He was on the grind time, like he helped create grind, like he was one of the reasons now I'm hearing that grind time was even created. And, you know, he he, he moon he moon walked in steel toe boots, man. This man's a fucking legend, man. So, you know, hopefully it continues to the people to show love and people continue to show gratitude and gratification for him. But uh I definitely had to talk about A Ward versus Rum Nitty, man. Salute to every single one of y'all, keep this shit going again.